So that was actually a really long break because my, of course my computer decided to do the system update. I also noticed that I hopefully you guys were able to see clearly. I gotta start tapping on the light parts so you can see the images clearly. So sorry about that. I hope hopefully you were able to see what I was doing before. Okay, so as you can see, they kind of blend in a bit together. So um, what I need to do. Okay, let me let me figure this out in my head. Okay, what I need to do is, I need to darken him up. So I'm going to take a, I'm not sure what color I'm going to use. We'll just use a dark blue for now. Make it fairly big. It's really dark. I mean, it does need to be really dark, but. but that might be a little too, too dark. I don't want it too dark. Okay, so you know what? I'm going to move this layer. I'm going to move this layer all the way up top. No, I guess I can't do that. I'll bring it back down. Sometimes you can get a nice, uh, you get a nice look. I think multiply actually looks pretty good. Take a little bit of it off. Multiply at, multiply at 70% looks good. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a layer above these. We're going to go multiply, we're going to go 70%. And we're going to do the same thing with these rascals. Wait, what is, oh, I'm, I, know what, I know what I did wrong. I forgot to select, select them. All right. Okay, so now what I need to do is, actually I can, I can put a little bit over the top of this guy too. Hopefully that, no, that doesn't seem like it's working. Oh no, I'm on a race. I was on the wrong thing. Oops. Select. Back up to the shadow layer. I really want to just darken this up here. But then I also want to take it off. I want to make sure I take it off the edges. I really want that contrast of light to dark. 
So even for these guys, I have to make sure that I erase it back. This is actually really fun to do because it really feels like you're playing with the light. So it's, it's actually very rewarding. Gotta make sure I erase all this dark color that Somehow, you know, with the airbrush, it always it kind of gets everywhere. So, to make sure I get this dark color off of the pumpkin, off of the light source. I might have to take down some of that lightness from his face. There we go. So that's kind of nice. We're kind of getting there. All right, it's looking pretty good. Part of me just wants to kind of merge all this. Let me take some of this light off of mom. Just making your mouth a little silly looking. Like we can't have mom looking silly, so. But I do want to give her some of this shadow. Oh, let me select her. I might have made a mark there. Select. Just want to get some shadows on her a little bit. Okay, so Alright, it's looking good so far, but Mom might still be a little too bright So what I might have to do is literally just I might have to just darken mom up a bit because mom is a little light Take a little bit of this chin off of mom. I 
put a little bit on the bottom, but that, that's really that's really about it. She would be getting most of her light from getting most of her light would be down here. So I'll lighten that up a little bit, but up top she would be pretty dark, I think. Let's see if I can merge those. Yep, yeah, I can merge them. Select. Make another layer above that, and it might be good to just. Bring this layer down and then just kind of give her some hard shadows. Especially on the top of her head where she wouldn't be getting any light. And I'll do the same thing with these guys too, actually. So I'll do select. And I'll just make another layer above. I'll bring it down and I'll just give them some... Let's get this, give them some hard shadows. Might be a little too dark. And if that's the case, I'm just going to erase away a little bit. Right on the right. I'm just going to make them a little darker. And then just sort of fade them out a little bit. I don't mind the hard shadows if it's if they're really dark, but I just don't really think I need them that that dark. Um, do this guy as well. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Alright, so I'm pretty pretty happy with all this. So one thing I need to do is make this shadow darker. to give them some shadows as well so you know what we'll just stick with um, I kind of don't like using black we'll stick with like a dark brownish color for now and we'll see how that works Put a little smudge on them. So 
I think that's looking good so far. Pretty happy with this so far. Okay, so. Oh man, there's something weird about his, his lighting. I think he might have a little too much on his face. There's just something that's bugging me about his lighting on his face. And especially this bit. I don't know why this is so... That's better. Okay, so the last bit, well, probably not the last bit, but uh, what would be nice is to take the old trusty light pen and really really give the bits that are really catching the light some love That's weird, what is that? Oh, I guess it just, I don't know what I did, it made it look really, really odd for a second. Okay, this is not bad. Give mom's toes a little bit of a little bit of love. This guy's toes would definitely be getting a lot of light. as would his arms I love the light pen it's so much fun why is the light pen not working there I must have put the shadow above oh yeah that's why Sometimes you gotta figure out where your shadows are and just make sure they're not in the way. His nose would definitely be nice and bright.
Now this is really just extras throwing out this this hair, you know. It's just really fun to kind of Throw some hair in there, you know, like, I mean, they, they have hair. I'll give him some hairs, too. Some little hairs here. Oh, I love it. I think it looks so cool. I think that looks really good. Okay, so I guess we need some sort of, some sort of background, right? Make sure we can merge that and it still looks good. Yeah, it looks good. I'm happy with it. Throw a little bit of black on this. I feel like mom's shadow is so dark. But I, need, I want this one to be darker as well. And their little butts. I want that to be quite dark. Okay, so... These are looking good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit of... A little bit of glare on their eyes. Oh, that was too bright. Probably won't be able to see it, but that's okay. Because we're going to use the light pen, and then we're going to we're going to make a real real glare. Give mom another glare too. And I can probably take away the old glare, but that's okay. It's not a not a big deal. I kind of wish I would have made the did away with the lines already, right? Yeah, I did. Kind of wish I would have made these lines. You know what? I can probably. I can probably do some smudging. Fix a little bit of this. Yeah, just a little bit of smudging usually works. Just because everything else just makes it look so um, artificial. So I really like to I 
I really like to add some smudges in there. Yes, this is looking much, much better. But he does need a little more brightness. Here. Maybe he needs the, um, the airbrush. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Okay, so I actually I need to add some I need to add some atmosphere now. I'm not sure if I want to add noise or I'm going to do I'm just going to do it on this layer. I don't know if I want to add noise Noise is usually pretty good. Um, I'll add some in front too. But I also just want to add a little bit of... Uh, I'll add it behind. Basically I'm just trying to figure out how I want to do the, the atmosphere. You know, because if, if this thing is admitting uh, emitting light. And you kind of want to have a, a little bit of atmosphere around it, but not too much. And why are these lines so... see this is... this line is way too dark. Don't like it at all. And I feel like it just like somehow it's just getting darker. better. Just don't want these harsh lines. Okay, so that, that looks pretty nice. I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna make just a little bit more atmosphere over here. And a little bit more noise, I think I want. always erase it away if I don't really if I feel like it's too much I can always erase it erase it down a little bit yeah that's better 
And then my personal favorite, which I'll put up top, stubble. Love adding. A little too big, let me make it a little smaller. Basically from now it's it's just uh just making some atmosphere now. I think we're looking good. I'm I'm pretty happy. The only thing I need to do now is just figure out some sort of see if there's anything in this layer. Good empty layer. Can figure out some sort of background. Maybe just a little darker than this. I don't know what we want to do for background. Just give them some. Let's see here. Some sort of maybe some sort of mountainish type thing. And maybe I can make some behind it. They're a little lighter. A little lighter than this actually. It's mostly just playing around with these things, try to make them so they so they fit. Although I kind of want some like palm trees or something. I don't know, but I want to stick to like this palette. It's the only thing. I don't really know how, I can't really remember how they're shaped. They kind of have a lot of like, like this, and they have a lot of like, a lot of pom palms on them like that. Okay, so let me go behind that and maybe add some some sort of like moon, but maybe like a I don't know what color moon I want to add in there. Maybe like a big. Maybe like a red moon.
A nice red moon might be nice. Um, I don't know. I don't usually do a lot of... I definitely want stars in the sky. Definitely want some stars. So what I'm going to do for that is I'm just going to choose yellow. And I'm, I'm going to choose my trusty light pen. And I'm just going to make some stars. And then I'm going to darken the right stars so I know what I did on that layer. And now let's just play around with some other colors and see, uh, see what we can come up with. That doesn't really make sense back there. It looks a bit nice, but it doesn't really make sense. So we can make it a bit darker even. That's actually not bad. Kind of nice, actually. I have to make these palms a little darker, maybe. Okay, let's see. So I made this, made this. So in front of this layer, I need to make, I need to draw the ground. So we'll choose this and then we'll go with like a, we'll make it a little more reddish. Let's see how that looks. I think I want I want behind this layer is what I want behind that layer and I can change my brush too because I don't need a big brush Okay, first of all, I feel like I need to fix these palms. the proper shape which is like sharp like 
all these nice and sharp. Much better. Because that did not look natural at all. Oops, okay, that's good. All right, let me, let me export this, let me back. 